Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to tell you 10 business opportunities that will present themselves to you if you like to travel. You know, most people think of travel as something that you do for fun, but I'm going to show you how traveling could make you a whole lot of money. And I guarantee you haven't thought of all these business ideas, so you are going to love this video. First business opportunity is to take people on trips or take people on expeditions. You know, there's a whole lot of people out there who would like to travel, but they don't really know where to start. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they don't know how to get around. Maybe they don't know the language in a foreign country, and maybe they don't realize that 90% of that country's population speaks English, even if that's not their first language. So you can organize trips for people. You can organize trips for people out of the country, or you can organize little mini trips within the country. Maybe they've already ventured out into some big city like Rio de Janeiro for example, and you could take them to the, the smaller towns around or the cool little landmarks that exist around the city that aren't actually in the city that they probably wouldn't find on their own. You can provide all the transportation, you can translate for them if necessary, uh, you can show them how to do it so that they don't get kidnapped by mercenaries or whatever crazy things that they're afraid of. There's a ton of opportunity there if you want to take people on trips, and I actually give you a full business plan to do that in this video. Opportunity number two is to import things that don't exist back in your home country, or or, you know the other way around to import things that do exist in your home country and import them into the countries that don't have them. If you travel a lot, you'll start to see opportunities for this everywhere. For example, uh, here in Brazil, and I'm going to use Brazil in my examples a lot because that's where I've been living for the past five months. In Brazil, they have this little little plastic thing that you put garlic into and you kind of shake it back and forth like this and it cuts up the garlic for you. It's super convenient, much better than those stupid metal garlic presses that we use in the U.S. And they're dirt cheap, like you could buy those for a dollar. So you could start an import business just with those little garlic grinder things and make a killing. And there are a million other things just like that that they have in one country but they don't have in another country and probably they would really like in the other country if they only knew they existed. Okay, business opportunity number three is to notice things that are done poorly in one country and do them better. So, for example, I noticed that here in Brazil companies don't do marketing very well. In fact, I even noticed that a lot of companies, something like almost half of companies, local brick and mortar businesses, never claimed their Google My Business listing. Which means that they don't know the first thing about how to make their business show up on Google. And you could really easily go to those businesses and say, hey, uh, I'm gonna make your business show up on Google and get paid a lot of money to do that because that's a very valuable service to businesses. I'm actually doing that with the company right now. Okay, business opportunity number four is to buy real estate and investment in foreign countries. If you travel a lot, you kind of get an idea of where the movement of people is, and especially if you're a digital nomad. So you might notice that there's a whole lot of gringos moving from the US and from Europe to Medellin, Colombia, for example. And you notice that there's a whole bunch of real estate in Medellin, Colombia that you can buy for dirt cheap. And you know that the price is going to go up because there's a lot of people with money that are moving to that city. That's a big opportunity. Here in Rio, there's a big opportunity with buying real estate because the market's in a recession here. So a lot of people are selling their houses. So there are a lot of houses on the market and houses are cheap. So that provides a wonderful opportunity for somebody who has some money to invest to come invest in that market because it's not going to stay in that recession forever, right? Those home prices are going to go up eventually, especially if you're buying beautiful apartments right on the beach, which is what I described in this video all about how you can make money from the beach. It's that specifically you can buy an apartment or even rent an apartment long term and then uh, rent it out to people on Airbnb and you'll make a lot more money than what you're paying. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you want to support my content creation so I give you more like this, please do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up icon, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be first to get all my new videos when they come out. Okay, business opportunity number five is to create a dating service. You start to notice when you travel a lot that certain people from one country like certain people from another country and you find pairs that work really well. So for example, here in Brazil, the Brazilian women really like American men and American men really like Brazilian women. So you could really easily create a dating service that matches up Brazilian women and American men. 
And when you travel in kind of a medium to long term way, you start to notice these patterns. You start to notice that the men from this country really like the women from this country, and the women from this country really like the men from this country. And you find these pairings that could work for a great dating service or great matchmaking service. There's all sorts of opportunities there. Opportunity number six is price arbitrage. What that means is that you find something that sells pretty cheap in one country and sells for a more expensive price in the other country, and so you buy it from the cheap country, import it to the more expensive country, and sell it there at a higher price. I met a guy who did that with high-end luxury cars. He would bring that. He would buy them in the U.S. where they were cheaper, like Mercedes, BMW, Porsche. He would buy them in the U.S. and then he would have them shipped over to the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia and Dubai, and sell them there. And they were almost double the price in those countries. Another one my girlfriend and I had noticed recently was a brand called Carmen Steffens, which sells luxury women's clothing and bags and that kind of thing. And it's a Brazilian brand, and it's a little bit expensive here in Brazil, but it's really, really expensive in the U.S. So you could buy a whole bunch of Carmen Steffens stuff, fill up a suitcase with it, bring it to the U.S., and sell it at a, a better price than the U.S. stores are selling it, and still make a lot of money. Of course, if you want to do this on a bigger scale, you have to worry about import tariffs and all that. But even then, there's still some opportunity, and while you're working up to that, you can still make a lot of money just filling suitcases with a certain product. By the way, if you're watching this and you would like to travel more, you would like to be exposed to all these incredible opportunities, but you just can't really do it because of work or because of obligations at home or something like that, then I would very much recommend that you check out Digital Nomad University. That's my course. I'll put a link in the description below that tells you how you can offload all of those responsibilities, how you can make money on the road, how you can get rid of those responsibilities at home or minimize them to the greatest extent, and how how you can take advantage of the awesome opportunities around the world, the lower cost of living, the great weather, etc. So if you're sick of being stuck in an office all the time and you want to expand your life to those possibilities that you only have when you travel as a lifestyle, then click the link in the description and sign up for Digital Nomad University today. Okay, business opportunity number seven is to share information. That is, you create info products or you have a blog or you have a YouTube channel. There are a lot of people that are making full-time livings just from being on YouTube. YouTube talking about their travels or blogging about their travels and these days it's a pretty crowded space right there's a lot of people that are doing this people on Instagram too there are people who are full-time Instagram travel influencers and that's their job so it's a crowded space if you're gonna do this I recommend that you find a good niche so that could be traveling for surfers for example like how to find all the best surf spots and you know how to get around to the country to the little remote beaches that have the best waves etc or if you stay in one particular spot maybe you found somewhere that you really really fell in love with then you could write a blog or do a YouTube channel all about that place that city and all the surrounding areas so you can go really really into depth on all the greatest things to do in that city you can be the expert uh, who speaks your language and blogs or YouTube channels in your language and so you become the go-to person for everybody who wants to visit that area okay business opportunity number eight is to teach a language if you just so happen to speak English, which judging by the fact that you're watching this video, you probably do, well, you are in a wonderful position because just about everybody in the world wants to learn how to speak English. And if you are a native speaker of English, then even better because people will pay you a premium to teach them how to speak English. And if you can actually be there and teach them in person, then that's yet another premium on top of that. So if you know a language that other people want to learn, then people will be willing to pay you to learn that language. And you can teach languages while you're traveling, or if you speak English, you can even teach English over the internet, which is something that I show you how to do in Digital Nomad University. And you might be surprised how much money you can make working from a computer just teaching kids around the world how to speak English. Okay, business opportunity number nine is to open a new franchise of a business that you liked in one country in another country where it doesn't already exist. An amazing example of this that I found just recently is a restaurant called Spoleto. It's an Italian restaurant. It's kind of a fast casual setting. It's like Chipotle of Italian food and the place is awesome. They they will cook your food. They'll, they'll make you a custom pasta with uh, the noodles that you want and the sauce that you want and the, all the, the ingredients in the sauce that you want and they will literally throw all this pasta together in one minute. They'll have it done in one minute and it's delicious. Like it's just as good as Olive Garden or Macaroni Grill. 
and it costs like five dollars so i could see this absolutely exploding in the u.s people would love this place and i know somebody actually did just open a franchise in orlando so it's coming uh if you live in orlando you might know that already but uh everybody else i bet this is going to be taking over the country soon and the person who figured that out probably because they traveled to brazil and said hey this place is amazing let me open a franchise is going to be making millions and millions of dollars because he lived a travel lifestyle and he kept his eye out for that opportunity. Last but not least, business opportunity number 10. That is to host events that you find from one country in another country. Here's what I've noticed. People get bored a lot. People who don't travel, that is. People who are not digital nomads get bored a lot and they like a variety of experiences. So if you've had an experience in another country, a certain type of event that you can bring to your home country, then that's something that all the bored people would absolutely love to engage in. So for example, Brazilian barbecues are awesome. I really like Brazilian barbecues. So if I have a Brazilian barbecue back in the US, that's something that's pretty cool and pretty exotic and the food is amazing. If I turn that into a big paid event, like a big paid party, well, I could get a lot of interest and make a lot of money selling tickets and selling food. And this has been done very successfully before, right? I mean, if you think about all the Oktoberfest parties, for example, somebody went to Oktoberfest in Munich, Germany and thought, hey, this is awesome. I'm going to try throwing the same event in the US and it was a smashing success right? Or St. Patrick's Day or Cinco de Mayo. There are all sorts of these events that we kind of borrow from other cultures and bring back to the U.S. or back to wherever your home country is. And sometimes it's a smashing success. Another one that's kind of interesting is here in Brazil, rodeos are super popular. And I really mean rodeos, like a Texas rodeo with, with guys bull riding and all that. Super popular in Brazil. Whoever brought the rodeo to Brazil is making a killing. So there you have it, 10 business opportunities that you'll only come up with if you travel. And by the way, these are just the ones that kind of came up at the top of my head uh, while I was on a bus ride. So there are many, many, many more I'm sure that I didn't think of. I wanna ask you, do you think that you could do any or all of these business opportunities? Let me know in the comments. Which one sounds most promising to you? Comment below. And if by any chance you like the beach and you wanna know three different ways that you can make money while you're hanging around on the beach, check out this video. And of course, share this video with anybody who you think should get off the couch and start traveling. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.